everyone. I hope you guys are having a great Tuesday. Today, we're gonna do a bowling lesson. Now we're wrapping up the end of our first semester this week, so I thought it would be fun to play some different games and have some fun playing those games with family members. So I thought we could do some bowling. Now the items that you'll need for our bowling lesson is some empty water bottles or empty cups to make your pins. So you can use empty cups just like this or water bottles just like that. And you can set them up in a triangle formation and try to knock those down. So I'm gonna use both. Let me finish setting up mine real quick. There you go. And I'm gonna knock these uh, bottles and cups over. And then for your bowling ball, it'll be ideal if you have a large bowling ball, all right? Just like a basketball or a bouncy ball. If you don't though, you can also use a small ball like a tennis ball. And it's important to remember when we are bowling that you need to take a big step forward, bend your knees, put the ball behind you, release it close to the ground so it doesn't bounce. It just rolls smoothly on the ground, right? Just like this. All right. Now, the more family members that you have, the merrier. So try to get mom, dad, brother, sister, grandma, grandpa, whoever's in your house with you, try to get them to play and bowl with you. Now, I'm gonna have you go first, and you're gonna bowl two times, and you're gonna knock down as many cones as you can. So after the first bowl, and you knock down some of those cones, move those off to the side, and then see if you can knock down the remaining cones. Then, set them all back up, and the person behind you will go, and they'll try to get two chances to knock all their pins down, and then set them back up, and then the next person, and so on and so forth. And by the time everybody is finished, that is one frame, all right? And you can play as many frames as you want. In bowling, you can play up to 10 frames, but you guys can play two, four, six, eight, ten, whatever you guys want to do at home. And you can do more, too. All right, I've set up my cones, so I'm gonna knock down as many cones as I can. I'm just gonna play one frame by myself because I don't have any partners right now. So I'm gonna see how many I can knock down. You want to also be about uh, 10 or 15 feet away from your cones. That way it's a little bit harder and you get a chance to roll it and uh, the ball can go off course. You can play in a hallway, you can play outside, you can kind of move furniture around and play in your house, whatever is best for you guys at home. All right, here we go. My first bowl. Take that forward. Knees bent, ball behind me, release it close to the ground. Oh, I knocked down all but four cones. So I knocked down six cones. I'm gonna to try to knock down those last four. Now, there's two on each side, so it's gonna be pretty difficult picking up that split, but let's give it a try. Big step forward, knees bent, balls behind me, and roll. Oh. So I knocked down Eight cones. I knocked down eight cones. I left two of the 10 standing. So I have a score of eight. Now I set them back up. And if I had a partner, then my partner would go next and get two chances to knock down as many cones as they could. And then we'd set them back up and let their next partner go. And then once everyone got a chance to go, then I would start and roll a second time. All right, friends, so that's how you can do some bowling at home with your families. I hope you guys have a lot of fun. Tomorrow and on Thursday, um, we can do some ice skating and some dancing, and we'll have a lot of fun uh, getting ready for our winter break, doing activities like that. So I hope you guys have a lot of fun doing some bowling with your family members at home. Stay healthy and safe. Remember to read on your free time, and I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone.